In this video, we'll look at managing layouts in Adobe Connect. A layout is an organized collection of pods. You can use the layouts in a few different ways in Adobe Connect. In this example, I'm using layouts to set up the flow of my Adobe Connect session. So I've got a lobby layout for when people join my room, a welcome layout for when I'm welcoming them to the session, an introduction layout for when I'm introducing my speaker, PowerPoint layout, video, assessment, etc. So I can move down these layouts as I'm going through my session. The other way that I use layouts in Adobe Connect is to manage the different ways that I use my Adobe Connect room. In my personal Adobe Connect room, I've got one layout that I use when I'm meeting with the marketing team and a different layout that I use when I'm meeting with product management and a third layout that I use when I'm meeting with sales. All of the notes that I take in each of those meetings are persistent and stay on the respective layouts. The layouts by default will show up in the layouts panel, which is in the far right hand side of the user interface, at least by default. If you prefer to have it show up on the left, you can choose dock to the left. If you prefer to have it automatically hide when you're not using it, you can set that option. It will only show up as I move my cursor over to the right hand side of my meeting interface. And if I would prefer not to see layouts at all, I've got the option to close the layouts panel. I wouldn't recommend that though. I love using layouts in all of my meetings. So let's go ahead and under the meeting menu, we're going to add the layouts panel back to our meeting interface. To move from one layout to another, a host can simply click on the layout that they would like to navigate to. And the layouts panel is something that only the hosts can see and use. So participants and even presenters are not able to see or to use the layouts panel that I'm seeing over here on the far right hand side of my meeting interface. Most Adobe Connect default templates come with three different layouts. But as you can see here, it's really easy to add new layouts to your meeting rooms. To do that, simply click on the add new layout button, which is at the bottom of your layouts panel. And you can choose between creating a new layout that's completely blank, so an empty stage that you can use to start adding pods to, or by duplicating an existing layout. Here I can select one of the layouts that already exists, for example, this PowerPoint layout, and give it a new name. Let's call this PowerPoint 3, and I'll hit Create Layout. And you can see that PowerPoint 3 has now appeared at the bottom of my layouts panel. And it's an exact duplicate of the PowerPoint 1 layout that I've got up above in my layouts panel. And when I say duplicate, I mean this is the same instance of the slide deck and the image that I'm using here. So if I switch to a different slide in this PowerPoint 3 layout and then move back to PowerPoint 1, you can see that's affected the deck in PowerPoint 1 as well. It's the same instance of the pod in this case. If I'd like to move this PowerPoint 3 layout to somewhere else in my panel, I can simply drag it and drop it to another place in my layout panel. I can rename any of the layouts simply by double clicking the label. That gives me the ability to edit the name. And if I'd like to manage it even further, I can open up a special mode of the layouts panel called manage. This gives me a better opportunity to see all of my different layouts. I can see more layouts at once here, and I can select multiple layouts. If I'd like to do some cleaning up, I can go ahead and delete these layouts. I can reorganize the layouts in this manage mode simply by clicking and dragging a layout to a different place in the order. And I can use the search bar up here at the top to quickly filter my layouts. So I'm seeing specifically the layouts that I'd like. I'm going to get out of exit manage mode here and we'll take a look at the ability to lock your layouts. This is something that you would use only after you've designed your room and you're happy with the way it looks and feels. With my layouts locked, you'll notice not only can I not move my layouts around in the layouts panel, but all of the pods on my stage are also locked. And that's true across all of the different layouts that I've got in my meeting menu. I've essentially locked the UI of my entire room when I choose the lock option up here in the layouts panel. With it unlocked, I'm now able to move these pods around and resize them as I'd like. So that's a quick look at managing layouts in your Adobe Connect room. Thanks for your time.